Rebels here, and welcome to another League of Legends ARAM video. Today I'm going to be playing as Wukong, um, who's a champion that I actually enjoy playing a lot, so this should be fun. Um, the enemy team is Lucian, Annie, Aatrox, Victor, and Xin Zhao, and on my team is Tristana, Jace, Vi, myself, and Ezreal, who said he will be going AP. So, I think I'm just going to start with my Phage and get three potions before heading out. Just trying to figure out what I should um, pick up or build this game, because I'm not entirely sure what Aatrox is going to build. If he's going to go AP Aatrox, if he's going to build completely tank, or just maybe straight physical damage, or what. Um, also, just to mention at the beginning of this video, I will be experiencing a little bit of lag because somebody is using their wireless printer in this building, and it seems like it's somebody who might be new to the building and does not know that you can't do that. So I'm going to go ahead and drop my clone, let them take damage from that. So, yeah, basically uh, Wukong's abilities, his Q is his crushing blow. I gain some physical um, attack range, actually, as well as attack damage, and I'm standing inside of Victor's little field thing. That's not good. Um, his W is his decoy, which you saw me use to get out of that fight, where he leaves behind a clone of himself. But it's pretty easy to spot when Wukong's used his decoy, because the decoy will just stand there, and at, when it's about to expire, it'll spin around and deal a little bit of damage to anybody who's standing near it. His E is his Nimbus Strike, where he uh, dashes to a target, and he sends out um, images of himself to attack them in multiple spots. He gains a little bit of attack speed as well. So I usually like to use it when I'm taking towers when I play Wukong on the Rift, just to take them down a little bit faster. So there's a tip for you there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit Aatrox. Um, we should be careful when trying to fight Aatrox, in all honesty, because of his passive. Um, I forget the official name of it, but... Um, what his passive does is it basically kind of acts like um, Scion's passive, where he's given an extra life just without the death being attached to it. I think it's called Bloodwell, where he'll gain back um, a certain percentage of his um, of his maximum HP. I think it's always half, but I'm not entirely sure. I haven't played Aatrox in a while. I think the last time I played Aatrox was when I was like brand new to the game and somebody chose Ash and I had no idea who else to pick and Aatrox was free that week so I grabbed him and I had absolutely no idea what I was doing. It was like summer level 6 or something like that. And that was back when I only played Ash because she was the two- Triss. Triss, what are you- Oh yes! Thank you for flashing in on that. Oh, hi Annie. Hi, Annie. Bye, Annie. <laughs> wow. I completely missed my uh, crushing blow, but at least no one uh, died during that. Well, except for Tristana, who tower dove for some odd reason. I'm going to put another point in my Q. I usually like to, I usually like to um, upgrade my Q first. That might not be right, but it's the way I like to play. I'm gonna go ahead and decoy here. Yeah, decoy is really good for getting out of fights. I would not recommend engaging with your decoy though. That is a very bad idea because it basically leaves you as a sitting duck in case anything bad happens and we are up against Nanny who can drop timbers on top of me. So if I don't have my decoy to get out, I'm just gonna take a whole bunch of damage from her. Which reminds me, I should buy a Spirit Visage this game. I feel like I say that a lot, buying Spirit Visage, but it's a really good magic resist item. Oh! <laughs> nice. Okay. So, dashes everywhere. Oh yeah. Oh, well, just about to mention it. His ultimate is Cyclone. Um... Which I'll demonstrate in a second, because we can probably go in and kill someone here. Maybe. Kind of don't want to while Victor's around. 
but um, his cyclone is he does a spin attack that you can move around with. I do believe you lose some movement speed. No, he gains movement speed. Never mind. Sorry. He gains 15% movement speed while using the ultimate, and he spins around it, and it does have a knock-up on it as well. Dristana, stop tower diving by yourself. And I'm dead to Victor's ultimate. Great. Guys. Stop tower diving, especially when there's a Victor on the map. Victor is definitely a champion you do not want to tower dive. Um, I say I might get a Mob Malmortius instead of uh, Spirit Visage. Yeah, because this gives me attack damage and it gives me the magic resist. So, yeah, I'm going to go for this item instead. Um, I'm also going to buy a biscuit. Actually, never mind. I didn't need to do that. I forgot I had biscuits. But, um, yeah, like, actually, they're in a position where they can be ulted and killed at this point. So, next time I can go in, I definitely will do that. I see Vi has gotten stunned by Annie. Ooh, nice. So I'm putting a point in my E, just so that it deals extra damage. I'm not sure if it raises the attack speed. I'll have to check it the next time I uh, upgrade it. I'm going to go ahead and alt. Nice. But yeah, that's Wukong's ultimate. Um, it's really good, and it synergizes well with uh, Yasuo. So if you ever have a team where you have Yasuo, and you're playing top. By the way, Wukong's a top laner and, um, and a jungler as well. Um, yeah, and if you have a Yasuo, it's really good to get uh, Wukong or somebody with a knockup to um, help out your Yasuo. And it's on a relatively low cooldown as well. And I have, well, I do have cooldown reduction from my Black Cleaver. I have 20%, but even without it, it's still on a relatively low cooldown. And Ezra is a little bit too far forward. Want a decoy? <laughs> That's why the decoy is so great, because people waste all of their abilities on it, not realizing that it's a decoy. Usually until it's too late. Um... I'm gonna go ahead and decoy here. No. No! Oh god. Well, I have made him go really far back into our side, so they should be able to kill him. So, he will die for chasing me. Um, so... Yeah, I definitely want to get the Mom Malmortius as soon as possible. I want to grab this for right now. And... Actually, no, I need to build the hedge tech. Um, not, yeah, the hedge strinker, I mean, first. Oh, I'll get boots while I'm here. Um, I'm trying to think. Aatrox is building straight AD damage. Oh, it's a 4v5. Xin Zhao's not here. I did not realize that the enemy team had a disconnect. Okay. I used my decoy there because I don't think being CC'd like that would reveal me. So yeah, since it's a 4v5, we can definitely win because without Xin Zhao, they're missing a core part of their uh, damage. Um, and CC as well, because Xin Zhao has a uh, knockout, as well as the fact that he's just really powerful. I'm going to go ahead and use my Q on the tower here. I'm going to go ahead and go in and ult. Ow, okay. Yeah, that's exactly what I meant when I mentioned before about um, Annie's uh, Tibbers. By the way, if something I didn't do there that I probably should have... Um, that if you need to, uh, you can press R again while Wukong is ulting to cancel his ultimate. Um, because I think it deals the same amount of damage. Um, 
yes, yeah, it deals the same amount of damage uh, per second to the enemy. So I'm going to go ahead and get Mercury Treads so I have some uh, tenacity on me. And I'm going to grab this as well for some magic resist. Ooh, Aatrox will go in. Will he get anything though? Nope. <laughs> wow, Lucian will get completely exploded there. Wow. They, they're they alright. Jace has a lot of damage. Oh, he has a serrated dirk. That's why. So he's just shredding through whatever armor they might have. I don't know why I decoyed there. That was unnecessary. Nice. So good job, team. Um, Ezreal. I'm gonna go ahead and use my decoy here. <laughs> he actually fell for it for a second. Okay, so I'm gonna waste my ultimate there, but it will zone them back enough. Come on, get the decoy off. Yes! Yes, he ulted my decoy, nice, but he will still get a kill anyway. So I'm just gonna um, run back and uh, get the health packs as I run. Victor says Victor is Gar. Victor is actually a very strong champion if you know how to uh, play him, which the enemy Victor does not. Because normally what you try to do is you try to combo, you put down your gravity field, and when they get pulled in, or before they get pulled in, um, you put your Q down, and then you drop your ultimate on top of them while they're still stunned, and I haven't seen him do that. I assume so. I've never played Victor. It's just that that seems to happen whenever I play against Victors who are good. Well, good quotes. Because there's some people who just get lucky with playing Victor. By the way, Jace's uh, little energy gate thing does have a speed up on it. <laughs> for Victor. And it's a 4v5, which makes me feel even worse for him. Okay, so we will get the inhib here. Yep, saw that coming. I'm gonna go ahead and use my ultimate here. I'm gonna put, drop my ignite on him as well to make him easier to kill. Oh, he has blood well. That's not good. Well, that's because of the team you're playing against, Victor. That has nothing to do with the champion, you dying in two hits. That's just you. Um, I don't know why she went in to try and fight him instead of trying to execute under the tower. That would have been a better, I a better idea, in my opinion. So I have my Hedge Drinker now, which is good. Because... Like I said before, Victor is a pretty strong champion, but he's more of a backliner. He's not really a front lane type of champion. He's the person who sort of suddenly deals damage from the back normally with his uh, his um, ultimate. Yeah, exactly. You have good range, like Ezreal mentioned. And Victor keeps trying to be like up in our faces the entire time. Oh, snap! Aatrox surprised me. <laughs> I mentioned before those 4v5, are they just now noticing that Zen is missing? Oh, I didn't kill him. That's a bummer. Oh, but I got it. Ah. Nice. So I'm just going to go on ahead and get the tower down. I'm going to go ahead and decoy here so he wastes his ultimate on my decoy. 
And that's gonna be game. Nice. GG. So yeah, that was a really good game. Too bad it was a 4v5. Having Zen would have uh, made the game a little bit more interesting. So I feel bad for them. But I also feel bad for Victor. Like, he's completely saying that it's a trash champion when it's not. Like, I've seen good Victors who like can burst people down and everything. I wonder. Um... I'm guessing he did upgrade his hex core. Yeah, he did because his uh, Q got an extra burst of damage after he put it down. So he just wasn't able to build anything in that game and actually use Victor's damage to his advantage. Plus, our team was full of people who can jump out of abilities really easily. So that also didn't help him at all. But anyway, this has been Wukong Aram. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Also be sure to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter, both of which will be linked in the description below. And subscribe for more. And if you are subscribed or a new subscriber right now, be sure to hit that bell icon so you get notified of when I upload videos. This is Viola Rules, signing off. Talk to you later.